Welcome to join our Smart Dynamo System update uh, for 2021.1 version. I introduce myself first. I'm Eunice here. And um, today we will have our main speaker, which is uh, our <laughs> implementer, Mr. Xiao. And behind the screen, we also have Mr. Wong for uh, answer your Q&A. So maybe this is quite new for all of us this year. Um, from, from time to time, we will have a system update and also we will invite all of you to join the section to, to see what is new or what is special or what have we fixed for the problems that uh, maybe you also encounter in the system. Uh, so do expect that this year we will have another two, or two and three more time when you receive the email from us, you are welcome to join us for the section. Of course, also in the section, you are welcome to ask any questions. Uh, you can type in the chat or you can type in the Q&A on the below. Below there, you can see the Q&A button. Then you can type there. Or if you wish to speak, if during this Q&A section you, are, you, will to, you wish to speak, you can uh, click the raise hand button. Then we will allow you to talk and then you can ask us uh, from voice. So uh, without further ado, let's uh, invite Mr. Sell to start today's section. For the up to uh, to share with us what is the updates for our Dynamo system. Uh, I'll pass to you, Mr. Sell. Okay. Good morning, uh, everyone. My name is Chen Fat. So uh, everyone is call me uh, Fat lah. So today I will sharing some of the Dynamo new version for the two thousand twenty one point one updates. So uh, so now I will share some of the information. Okay. For today, I will share about the this Dynamo new version latest enhancement for version 2021.1. Okay, so before you upgrade this version, you have to take note, you have to upgrade, if let's say you got the post system, you have to upgrade the client socket, because this one is linking to the post system. And then if let's say your server there got installed the process manager, this one uh, also have to upgrade to same version and the server socket. Server socket should be at the server as well. So this one enhancement uh, we already released actually on January already. So this one everyone now if let's say who want to upgrade actually can upgrade. Uh. So before you upgrade to this uh, 2021 version, you have to take note Make sure your computer is installed this .NET Framework 4.6. If let's say you don't know, maybe you have to take note, is it your computer is using what Windows OS? So for this one, 4.6 .NET Framework, actually Windows Vista SP2, Windows Server SP1, Server uh, 2008 SP2, Server 2008 R2 SP1 Windows 8 and 8.1 Server 2012 2012 R2 and Windows 10 is support lah actually. So if let's say who's still using the Windows SP, I think you have to upgrade the system, not upgrade the system, also upgrade the computer OS as well lah. So if let's say uh, who don't know how to install the this one .NET framework actually here got the link. You can screenshot or later we will share the slide for you. Then you can uh, click the link to download. La. But not necessary, not necessary for all computer. La. If let's say the computer is now using Windows 10 or some of the, this uh, version OS, then uh, actually no need to update this one unless when the system got from the message us to install, then you have to install. Okay, so for today, we will talk more on the enhancement for the. So for actually this uh, 2021, we got many enhancements, now, but today I just uh, talk about some of the special features only. So for the first, we got enhanced the Dynamo uh, convenient for checking the post license and cover key la. so this one actually if let's say your you got many outlet we it, it will easier for you is it uh every pc it update 
to upgrade to new version and then is it the cover is it expired so if let's say the post this cause this one is actually uh you can see your post system the cover is it expired you can check at from this list if let's say you 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 saw this this one uh as the cover is expired then you can contact us to renew lah. so this one actually is quite good for you then if let's say you want to upgrade the version but when you check the listing here is a uh, cover is expired then you can inform you can contact our smart tier to renew so this one actually is on the post management there set up post client work socket post configuration information but this one have to upgrade first uh. so maybe af after this time you upgrade to the this version next time it will more easier for you to do the checking if let's say you've got many outlet okay so another enhancement is disconnect from the server handling by the providing reconnect or restart application so uh because sometimes if let's say the server got any disconnect you will see the some of the error message at the left hand side this one so you will see a lot of the message but you don't know what is the message so some of the user will really confused so they don't know what to do then you click close then you keep prompt the message but for now we got enhancement you will see the this uh, left right hand side of the screen you got two options to click either you can try reconnect or you can try to restart the application so you can restart again the dynamo or you try to reconnect again if still then i think you have to try to restart no? then you will not show so many error already okay so okay so another one is we also enhance the license control pass module so this one is available for enterprise license only la. so this one is uh, inside the common module system utility license control plus and then inside the here we will have to set up the license group cost okay how come we need this one license control plus module ah? sometimes you you only buy the license if let's say you buy the license is a full user file then you got a license accounting user one and then inventory one so and then full user is three if let's say you got this one control then you can set this license for accounting for which user to use only which user group then you sometimes you let's say account license usually it's for accountant account user to use but sometimes some of the user they uh, log in then uh, they cannot cause this one is concurrent user is one only sometimes they uh, how to say if let's say they use the more than one user then we'll prompt the message say uh, license full actually is this one is the uh, we got control this one is under one user then they can do the setting then you can do the control this one license already so this one have to take note lah. if let's say you got the your license is enterprise then you can try to set the this one so even you got many database means you got subsidiary database so here actually you just set one on it then you we can across the database to do okay. this one actually can as across database to assign the license group as well so this one you can set on this screen just now you can set here you can click the more license group user assignment then you can select the database which one you want to set then under this database you got what user group then this user group you want to assign to which uh, license type 
like just now the user uh, license for full inventory and account. That's why here, if let's say you got set like this, then sometime if let's say uh, you you actually got three just now three full user license, so you on you set the just now the account user only for one or the full license for some of the location, then you can set the one so they cannot more than use the license more than one idea. So this one you can control like this. And then next enhancement is the inventory module that we got added the location shelf for store. So this one, uh, I think some of the user last time got asked before. La. So this one actually you can set your store that for like the sum of the four print you can set your stock under which shelf for example like this one shop sometimes we see the sum of the hypermarket or some of the bookstore they got put the shelf number so they will put like this one shelf 11 shelf 12 and shelf 3 uh, shelf 13 so this one they can set at the system as well so you can know your product is uh, put under which shelf already and then under which rack and which level so you can set the things at here so this one actually you can come to inventory module set up here and then you can use the setup shelf type and set up location shelf so here you can set you can see upside here choose a location to set up the shelf so if let's say you've got many outlets so you can set every outlet got different shelf for them so you can set a uh, different type different red and different shelf then easier to set uh, maintain your product is put under which shelf and red so after you set just now the setting, you can come to the your stock maintenance there. You can set this item is put means uh, your item is put under which shelf. So you can set at the shelf there. You always you will put how many quantity there. So you will see when you check back, you will know or. Oh, this one row 11 this item you will put under row 11 a then this one is you always you will put five or four you can set the quantity here so after you set this one you can come to the our inquiry screen at around the inventory module inquiry there we got a stock location shelf inquiry you can check your location then you will know your product is under which uh, row or which shelf as well okay so we also got another function enhancements for import from file last time we got a function is import from file but if let's say you've got many documents you want if you have to one by one to import but now we support the multi document. So this one is support the invoice, credit note, and PO only. La. So if let's say you come to the customer invoice or CN or PO, you will see here you got one more option import from file multi document. So once you click this one, you will see here you can select the file so this one we got the template at the our dynamo folder later i will show you the pathway to get the this template so this one uh before you you set at the excel there you have to put the document number as well and then the date the location and the remark item the document remark so once you import after you import to click the import you can come to the output here you can see every uh, document inside got what item so this one you can do the like the listing you can check 
uh, for this one document inside got what stock and then the pricing and quantity so for the cn you uh, must to take note now after you import you have to knock off the invoice after using this one function so after import you have to come to the knock off invoice here to apply just now the amount the cn amount to the invoice which you want to apply okay for the po here you also can get the just now the import from multi document for here document number you will have uh, you just only to insert the prefix no need to set the number this one system will auto fill you just set the prefix uh, system will do the running number for you so but even you come to the screen the document number will uh, always will be will vary one uh. so not even here you can see the number is po2 but sometime after when the import maybe the number is locking so you after your import you will see the number will be different now uh. So this one uh, have to take note. Lah. So in the output here, you can check the price on same as the file. So be before you click the asset, like just now I said, the document uh, number may vary if the uh, already been used when import. So this is the template we already insert at the C, our dynamo folder so you can come to the c drive smart at the folder there dynamo the folder then we uh, inside we got the import template you can come here to check to see this three excel template okay so just now that one is the, our some of the special features enhancement for the 2021 so next uh this one also 2021 but more focus on the online store module so for the shopee we added the one option to exclude the shopee voucher coin credit card promotion for sales order and customer invoice for last time we don't have this chat box uh. The checkbox only for the include shipping fee only. Either you want to include shipping fee or don't want. But the Shopee voucher, coin, and credit card promotion is compulsory for last time. But now you have got the option. If let's say you don't want to include the voucher, coin, or credit card promotion, now you can untick this lot. If let's say you don't uh don't want to import uh don't want this one at your the invoice there. But here you also have to same as last time. Uh. Last time uh, we can set the stock ID or you don't want to put stock ID also can. So another word enhancement is if let's say your marketplace like the Shopee, you got few store. So when you update the product price or quantity, so sometimes last time last time don't have the grouping like this so if let's say you got three store it will combine all the item together then when you update you will to know the item is under which store so now we got the enhancement to grouping this store and then when you upgrade uh, update the product price or quantity you will see the this product is under which uh bucket uh, online store that store okay so and uh, we also got enhanced for the customer invoice to support the bundle deal order so if let's say your shopee there got do the bundle deal promotion so last time we if let's say your version is before 2021.1 
uh, actually when you when the Shopee sales generate the invoice the all the item which you selling as a bundle deal all the unit price will be zero price then uh, you, you will not see the this another row show that bundle half total amount but this one actually we still got one more enhancement later I will show you on 2021.1 version but we got the hot fix to fix if you do not show like this already so if let's say you already upgrade to, to this one 2021 so you update the latest version uh, latest hot fix then you will see we got another enhancement already so we also got uh, enhanced the customer receipt to show the remark tree to follow the customer invoice reference so you will see cause the, at the customer invoice there we got show the your reference as the your online store or marketplace the order id so if let's say you when generate the invoice the document number if same as the order id should be no issue lah. but some of the user they use the document number is the our dynamo the running number that's why when they apply the payment they will see the they will uh, very difficult to matching the the online store uh, order id with the dynamo running number that's why now we got added one remark tree at the customer receipt here so you can see this one actually is the order uh, online store order id so this also will support for the lazada shopee store and site giant so this one actually uh, we got a function at the receipt here we you click more you can export the below the listing to excel then you can try to matching all the things first then you can import again to this one receipt to apply the amount so you no need to one by one to click the apply amount if let's say you got many order for the online store you just can click upside you see the more here you can export the file we got the enhancement to show is the original the site original price column we added this one in such a store management product screen so this one original price is a uh, equal your such giant that product price so this is the price is before any special offer or discount that mean if let's say you uh, set the product at the such giant there you can see the general screen here you got the price so this is the default original price so if let's say you don't have to do any special promotion or discount this is the the original price up. so if let's say you could do the any promotion or special price so we have to see this one selling price so the, at this selling price column is equal to the price after special and discount if let's say you got set this one the tag at the side journey there you got set special and discount so here the price will show at the selling price column and then if let's say your product got a uh, sell by the variance so the variant price will show at the product price so you can check back this one the product price so product price also equal is the price after just now the special update uh, special and discount this one the price and the variance price different that mean if let's say just now the price uh, we set 500 if let's say you got to the special this one special and discount this one setting your item will sell 300 if let's say you got sell uh, by variance again 
so you can see this one I set the variance 101 this one uh, we set minus 20 that's why at the end the price you sell should be 280 so it will follow this one so if let's say the variance price here you put zero then so it will same as just now the special and discount price if let's say the variance setting here you put plus 30 for the price so at the end the item price will be 330 so we also got some fix for the online store so here also we got set the fix the incorrect stock quantity for multi um stock when you import all shopee product in shopee sync quantity screen so last time you set if let's say dynamo here show 10 carton for the multi um item and then 40 pack so when you upload or sync to product to the shopee there you will see the stock quantity will be different not the same as this screen so this one now we already set set uh, this issue already lah. so you will same as what you see on the stock maintenance the balance same with what you sing to the shopee already and then we also fix the in correct variant price updated from such giant update price or quantity screen there so last time uh, when you update the price we got some of the issue to update to the site giant the price screen there so now we already solved the issue already so we also fixed the incorrect site giant products price for variance with the promotion price in update price or quantity screen as well so now what so, so now you can uh, use if let's say you last time got facing this issue for the previous version so now you upgrade to the latest version 2021.1 you will fix the issue already and then the shopee shipping fee now we will follow the buyer shipping fee last time for this shipping fee cost uh this one last time the api as i know uh as my r d tell me so uh this one shipping fee last time we don't have we can't get the shipping fee from the buyer payment so now we get this already so when the invoice generate at our system dynamo there now it will same as the buyer payment the screen as what you uh, see at your shopee order screen there okay for previously we use the estimated shipping fee cost uh, at the api there we only get the estimated shipping fee or the uh, actual shipping fee but at the end we still can't get the correct shipping fee to generate the invoice so now this one uh, after we found it the, got the new api at the here at the income api there so now that's why now we already fixed for this issue already lah. so if let's say you're using the old version if let's say you got some issue for this then you can try to upgrade to the next version then you have no more this issue already okay last time we also got one issue is unable to generate the customer invoice for shopee order if let's say the product uh, switch from the variance to single product that mean last time your product is sell by the sing, uh, variance item there that mean your product got set like the variance like this but now you suddenly change this one to be the single product so when you generate the invoice system cannot to gen but now here you can uh, after you upgrade to the latest version 
then this issue will be fixed already. Okay, you can see this one actually uh, SS3629.1-107 uh, This one actually dash S this item we set, we saw it by variant SKU before but now you got add one more item not using the variance already it's a own single item already so now uh, if let's say you got did it before now when you join the invoice you will know more this issue already okay so last time uh, our the process manager is limit uh, we will every time to download the order from the date when you start to use uh, our system to download your Shopee order or marketplace uh, any marketplace order if you starting from the date when you start maybe you start from two years ago so every time the our program at the server there always will start from uh, the date you start uh, two years ago to download again uh, download. so it will take time so now we shorten the time to be 30 days order only that means they will take the latest 30 days order any sync uh, update or any latest order we just get the latest 30 days so it will take uh, more faster time to download the latest order already and then uh, now the download order method will follow the dead range uh, same as the system inside the okay so actually just now the version 2021.1 build 000 released on 20 20th january but starts on 22 22nd january we got uh, another hot fix to fix the just now the original product price error as well la. so this one uh, we have got one hot fix to solve the market uh, online store issue and then uh, hot fix 2 on 1st of February we also got fixed the incorrect document total when shipping fee and voucher is excluded if let's say the user setting uh, at the Shopee store there is exclude the shipping fee or voucher when general invoice last time you will get the incorrect total amount but now also we got solved the issue already and then at the hot factory uh, released on 22nd February we got a new enhancement if let's say your stock maintenance there got set the dimension or weight let's say this item at the you you already set the dimension and the weight as well at the stock maintenance there when you let's say if let's say you create the product from our this one dynamo here sync to the online store it will automatic fill in for you as well so you will save your time to add your product to the online store already so you no need to fill in because sometimes uh, some of the user they always will forget to fill in this one the weight and dimension when set the product from our dynamo here to sync to the online store so it will easier for them already no need to always to forget already okay so on 3rd of April 2021 we also enhanced the Shopee order bundle deal just now uh, if let's say you can see the this screen as I just now show you so last time if let's say the bundle deal you got single every single item then all the price is zero then we put the lump sum amount same as the Shopee give the amount lump sum figure so now we got a new enhancement for this one uh, bundle deal so you can see this one every time 
but for for the previous not not the whole fixed version so every item is the zero for the bundle deal then we got we just get the final amount to lump sum figure as for this bundle deal only then some cost some of the user they don't want this format so we already enhanced so if you follow like this so it the every item we will follow the original price if let's say this one uh, we compare if let's say this one is got a uh, discount how many then we will try to do the discount to fix the issue already so now cost if let's say you all the item price is zero then some of the user they cannot see the profit margin so now if let's say you upgrade to the hotfix 4 then this issue will be fixed already so now you can see the every product got the own unique price with the late uh with the after discount the bundle deals the amount la. so actually this one uh cost last time this one uh, the previous one actually not uh we want to set like this cost from the Shopee API there, we we only to get the this one final amount. We cannot get the every single amount. That's why we just uh, as I our R and D there, we, they will just uh, direct pump in the amount only. But now they got try to work up with the own our own formula to solve this issue idea. And then the generic customer invoice document date for last time if let's say you use our uh, you use our system to auto generate the invoice for the online store if you follow when generate the invoice if you follow our computer date not follow your shopee order date or data shop uh, order date so now if let's say you upgraded to hotfix 4 your system will follow your uh, marketplace or shop online store that order date that means if let's say the order is uh, from today is uh, 26 March so it will follow the 26 March but if let's say your order is from yesterday 25th March so always last time before the version when you if let's say the order you generate the invoice by today so even the order is 25th march the date when you generate invoice by today it will follow today 26th march that's why uh, we already solved the issue this issue so it will not uh, it will not it will easier to check back the order is under which date already la. and then we also got fixed the voucher coin and coupon item unit price with negative value okay for previously you can see the this one unit price you can see the unit price actually uh, you, you will see the negative one negative symbol at the unit price but for now, for the hot fix for, uh, we will enhance to set this negative at the quantity there. Cost should be the unit price will not have the negative. So now we already solved the issue on hot fix for as well. So the negative symbol, if less, will be at the quantity column that that not at the unit price so this is the our dynamo latest version enhancement by today sharing so thank you
should be no more questions from you all. Hopefully today is a fruitful session for all of you. And as I mentioned earlier, please do expect that we will have more of this kind of uh, update section for the years of 2021 after we have like uh, upcoming version, what have we done for the new enhancement or the release or the any hot picks have, uh, have we done. So also hope that you all can join us again for the follow-up section. And also if uh, you know somebody in your company or who else that uh, most people come to join, then uh, welcome to share with every one of them. And uh, I will thank you, Mr. Uh, Afat and Tegwai for today, uh, working together for this section. And we hope that we see you all again for the next uh, next week, next section of update. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Thanks all. Bye.